Tonight, customers at an East Macon store remembering a beloved assistant manager shot and killed outside his home. The Bibb Sheriff's Office says they're looking for four men driving a dark colored car who they believe killed Panal Kumar Patel last week. The shooting in Patel's driveway in South Bibb County sent his wife and daughter to the hospital. Anthony Montalto joins us live outside Sherlington Package Store with more of customers' memories of the man they called Mr. Pete. Well, Frank and Lori, the customers here even had a nickname for Patel. They called him Mr. Pete, and it's safe to say Mr. Pete had a lot of fans. So I called him Mr. Pete, and hey man, I tell you, he's an outstanding guy. That's how many customers at Sherlington Package Store remember Panal Kumar Patel. So friendly and so kind to everybody that come here. So um, I was just really sad by the news once I heard it. Patel was shot and killed in his own driveway last week. The shooting sent his wife and daughter to the hospital. The three men who shot them and the getaway driver still at large. He was a good guy, man, all the way around. And why, why, why this happened to him, I don't understand. Cause I don't think he did nothing to nobody for him to deserve this. Customers say Patel was quick to crack a joke. Every time I pull up to the window, he tell my wife, hey, mama. <laughs> they say he made you feel right at home when you came shopping. Very good man. Very good man. Just as nice, just as nice as he want to be. And if you didn't have money to shop, he'd even spot you some cash. I, I said, hey, look, man, uh, I, ain't, I ain't got but like a dollar and a half. I need about three of them. He'd give it to me, so bring my money back. And then when I come back the next time, if I didn't have it, he wouldn't say nothing. For hours on Tuesday, every customer leaving the store had a good thing to say. And he wanted this customer to be treated fairly. He's such a pioneer to the community. He's always been a great um, guy. But the main thing people had to say, why? I just don't understand why nobody want to do something like that to that man there. I just don't understand it. I'm going to miss him a lot. I know that. Now, we still have several questions for the sheriff's office. Those questions include whether they believe the men followed the Patels home and whether they believe the shooters targeted the family. They say all that's still under investigation, but they did tell us just minutes ago that they no longer consider this a gang related shooting. Live in Macon, Anthony Montalto, 13 WMAZ News. Thank you, Anthony. Anthony also spoke with Patel's son, Pujan, this afternoon. He says his mother and sister are doing okay. They're simply asking right now for prayers.